19th, Pastor is saying to us, have the consciousness of the God life. Our opening scripture comes from the book of Isaiah chapter 33, verse 24. And the inhabitant shall not say, I am sick. The people that dwell therein shall be forgiven their iniquity. I got a hold of the message of eternal life early in life, believed it, and went on to preach and teach how to live this life to the full, above sickness, disease, and infirmities. At those early stages, I could still be rushed to the hospital sick. On a certain occasion, I spent about 10 days in the hospital, but I refused to give up because of the truth of this message. I believe in the life of Christ in me and the supremacy and superiority of that life over Satan, disease, infirmity, and death. Therefore, I maintain my confessions of the divine life in me, and Satan was never going to get me to change my testimony. The Apostle John, writing to the church, said, These things have I written unto you that believe in the name of the Son of God, that you may know that you have eternal life. 1 John chapter 5, verse 13. Why did he emphasize eternal life as our present, our reality? Why is it so important that we have and live with the consciousness that we have the God life now? It's because of the impact and the implication of that God life in and for the one who has it. No disease or infirmity should thrive in your body because you have eternal life. No matter how you feel, maintain your confession. Declare, I have eternal life. Therefore, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I refuse to accommodate any kind of pain, sickness, disease, or infirmity. I'm impregnable to sickness. Eternal life works in me. Every so often, affirm these words and stand your ground. Soon enough, whatever it is, be it a cancerous growth, diabetes, a terminal ailment, whatever, it will pass out of your body. This is the effect of eternal life in you. Years have come and gone. I bask in divine health. Eternal life is at work in me, in every fiber of my being, in every cell of my blood, and in every bone of my body. Hallelujah. It's our calling, right, and heritage to live transcendently above sickness, disease, and infirmity because divine life works in us. I found this not only to be true in the written word, it is also true in my spirit, soul, and body. Have the same consciousness. Please say this confession with me. Eternal life is at work in me. I refuse to accept disease and infections in my body. I'm superior to Satan and the elements of this world. I take charge and rule over my body with the word of God. And I refuse to yield to sickness, disease, and infirmity. Hallelujah. For further study, please read 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 12, 1 John chapter 1, verse 2, and 1 John chapter 5, verses 11 to 13 of the Message Bible. For the one-year Bible reading plan, please read Luke chapter 2, verses 21 to 52, and Deuteronomy chapters 13 to 15. For the two-year Bible reading plan, please read Romans chapter 1, verses 1 to 12, and Psalm chapters 85 to 86. Rhapsody of reality.